a face shield. So all the gear goes like that. I mean, you're wearing three layers of clothing, yeah. like you're sweating, you can't see anything, you can't breathe well yourself, but who are you to complain about having a mask on all day and not being able to breathe when these people literally can't? I texted one of my best friends um, just last week and I said something to the effect of like, I'm standing in the closet right now, like trying not to cry because this lady can see me and I know she can still see me, but I'm trying to, I just left for a second to get a blanket, but I'm standing here holding her hand and she's looking at me and she's like grabbing me. Like, I know she knows I'm there and I know she knows, you know, I'm like telling her out loud, like I'm not gonna let her die alone. I mean, you're watching somebody literally like not breathe and you have for 10 years, your, your job is to save people's lives. It's a whole different thing when you can't, you can't save their life. The biggest part of your job right then and there is not medicine, it's not skill, it's not prioritizing, it's not critical thinking, it is being a human. I don't want to keep you because I know you need to get back, but is there anything that you want to say to people out there or just anything, any message that you really feel like you want people to hear during this time? Um, I think there's a couple things. The first is that this is real. It's a real thing. People are losing the people that they love. You might not have a job right now. You might not be able to pay for things right now. You might be going stir crazy. You're losing luxuries in life. People are losing their family members. They're losing their loved ones. They're losing things that you can't get back. And I think the other thing is just, just love. Just, I mean, don't take people in your life for granted. Don't take things in your life for granted. When someone's important to you, take every single opportunity that you can to show them because you never know. Lisette is now in her fourth of 13 weeks in the ER at Elmhurst.